<laughs> That's not even funny. That's really bad. Hi guys, I'm Will Richards and I'm here today with KFC because they've recently teamed up with Moonpig.com. Moonpig.com! The reason being, they've created a finger licking good scratch and sniff card. You scratch it, it smells like chicken. It's amazing. Anyway, we're here for a pheromone party. I've never been to one before but it's all sniff, no scratch. So let's head on in and check it out. The premise of this, as you may or may not know, um, is that you have to wear an item of clothing for three days to bed and then bring that in. And this is now the smells of your pheromones, apparently. You'll get four bags on the table, each coded. You will take a sniff of the bag and the ones you like, you write yes or no. If you've got any notes on like, this is the future, my future wife, please let her know in the notes. There's people that sleep in full tracksuits. There's people that sleep in like the outfits they wore from the night before. I mean, no one turned up naked, that's weird. There's no one to sleep naked anymore. That's strange, isn't it? You right there? Adam. Hello, mate. Will, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, mate. Yeah, very good, thank you. How are you? Yeah. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I don't need to smell it Right, just okay, yet. sorry. <laughs> I walked in, I saw the registration, and it was, I don't know, a bit controversial. I don't like the idea that we're, I'm about to smell, smell unclean clothes. That's not something I'm up for. I don't think anyone's up for that. Do you think it's important? Do I think it smells important? Pheromones are important. Yeah. Pheromones. I don't know if I had to Google that. Yeah. Uh, right, if you want to just take a seat here, Will. So when we were signed in, Adam gave me a bit of a briefing um, and it was too formal. I felt like I was signing up for something I didn't want to do. Oh, to put it in perspective, I was signing up for something I didn't want to do. So these sheets of paper are basically uh, a marking sheet. So yeah, we got given this marking sheet, A4 piece of paper, loads of lines, felt like maths, didn't like that at all. No one likes that, not even mathematicians. Um, my first impression of smelling the clothes, none of it was nice. Um, it was all awful, all awful. I wouldn't recommend smelling your own clothes, let alone someone that you've never met before. Um, but more importantly, um, there are some serious, serious hygiene problems um, that have got to be sorted out. Um, and it just it sort of takes shower, hot water, maybe warm, fine. <coughs> That's not even funny. That's really bad. These boxes? No. Oh no, it's the top. Hmm, a little bit cheesy. A little bit cheesy. <laughs> this one must be fit. You think so? Yeah, she smells nice. <laughs> right. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, yeah, musty. It's I'm like musty. someone's got like left the curtains in a cupboard for like seven this, weeks. One? one of the items of clothing um, smelt heavily like Play-Doh. Oh, really? I don't want that on Play-Doh. You actually put the same down. That's insane. It doesn't smell like Play-Doh. Oh yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I just don't like it. No. Pickled onions. It smells like pork. Yeah, it seems like it's been sitting next to all day. Yeah, I think really like if the woman is on a healthy diet, you know, yeah. take care of herself, yeah. but also or eat. Man. Or men. Or men. Not eat not processed foods, you know, no, no processed, just yeah. organic, natural. I think genuinely she will sweat and smell better. No, what no, you're no. doing, get your head in there. Robbie, get your head in. That is disgusting, <laughs> So, who's done the sniffing party before? Never done. In my spare time, yes. Yeah. If you have, like, a girl in someone else's house. Or, like, a female in your house, yeah. if you never, like, smell the shirt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> have you done it before? No. Really? When he has a one night stand, he likes, whilst the person is going to have a shower, to smell their clothes quickly so that they don't notice. <laughs> so I brought a girl home. Who do you live with? My parents. Mum, dad, brother. You're a mess. <laughs> so I brought a girl home. Yeah, yeah. go on. Yeah. She stayed over. Yeah. And then when she went to shower, there was like a weird story in the room. So I just started shower. I don't think it turns him on, but I also think that one day you might see Dominic on major news outlets for being arrested for something like that, because that's disgustingly creepy. What's the worst smell you've had today? I found the one that smelled like, everyone said it smelled fruity, it just smelled really, really too strong for me. It smelled like um, uh, Starburst. If you could smell something that was like, oh my god, I want to, whatever. <laughs> what we got? Cinnamon. I love the smell of cinnamon. So if... But not too Christmassy cinnamon, like, like, like... The non-Christmas cinnamon? Yeah, non-Christmas cinnamon, more like, like you'd have it in milk. What? Do you know what I was doing in a milk? No. That's like my favourite drink, like warm, warm milk with a bit of cinnamon and honey. Okay, no, that's fine. 
Right, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the big reveal. Yeah, so we're about to kind of reveal ourselves as such. They're gonna point out who likes who, and it's gonna end in a fight, I think. So, ladies, can I get a hand up if you liked the smell of B1? I don't think many people would have picked me because I know that I'm a clean, very clean person, so that it won't smell bad. I change t-shirts often and I'm clean. And my bed sheets are clean. No one changes their bed sheets here. Body shop, fruity, and like backy. I didn't like it. You didn't but like it? But I said body shop, it just smelled too clean. I didn't trust it. Somebody said I was way too clean. I'd... I wasn't way too clean, I just cleaned my bed sheets regularly. That person was also the one that smelled of B.O. and hemp. It's like too strong of like a Starburst smell. It was one that didn't because she thought I smelled like Starburst. Grow up. You know, they're called Fruitellas. Opal fruits if you're really old. Can I get B1 to please step forward? That was great. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you like B3? Fresh and clean, I feel it's the best one. I thought it smelled too much like a teenager. Like, like. Okay. Okay. can I get B3 to please make yourself known? Okay, are you happy with the uh, response? Yeah, couldn't, it couldn't go uh, any better. Okay. <laughs> Smelling like a teenage teenager. That's it, youth. Okay, now moving on to B8. Um, <laughs> yeah, no one put uh, their hand up for B8, uh, poor fella. Um, I hope he's all right. Um, if you are watching this, mate, uh, give me a call. Talk. It's fine, it's gonna be okay. I wrote pungent. <laughs> okay. Would B8 like to step forward? <laughs> G4. What did you think? It smelled too, not fresh, just like someone who pulled it out of the drawer, put it in the bag, came here. Whoever, <laughs> if I mean if you pick them, obviously a liar. So, well, straight off the bat. G4, could you please step forward? And I'm not a liar, but I'm <laughs> G5. Oh, I put down, it smelled like a dog. Smelled like a <laughs> dog. That's me, apparently. But I was, I did hold my dog, though, so. <laughs> now that everyone knows who everyone is, please feel free to go have a drink, mingle, and hopefully find the one you love. Well, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just writing a card out um, for the person who smelled <laughs> not the best, <laughs> just uh, like w what I think was the best. In a, in a bad bunch, if that makes sense. Um, this particular person smelled like dry toast. And win-win, who doesn't like toast? Celiacs, obviously. Gluten-free bread, that's fine. It all smells the same. Toast. Um, I've written a card um, for G1, who's the person I like the most. They smell um, like toast, so I'm gonna give it to him. So yeah, I went to find G1. Um, she was just... Um, having a number, well, G2, I think. It was a bit coincidental time-wise. Um, as soon as everyone starts talking to each other, and then whoop, off she goes. Where's G1? G1? Girl. Oh, she's coming up. Hello, you are right? <laughs> I got you a card. Can you read the card for me, please? I wrote it for you. The inside. You? No, inside or outside? Both. Okay. Your finger looking good. To G1, thanks for letting me sniff your dirty clothes. You smell like lightly dried toast. Well, I love toast, but with butter though. Exactly, there you go. Okay. <laughs> not toast, toast. <laughs> now, when I say toast, I'm not talking about, don't, you know, throw your head or throw your mind into a space where you're smelling carbon burning things. It's not that. It's that beautiful breakfast morning spell. Everyone loves toast. Um, so yeah, I think she's a winner. Toast. Thank you, that's a real compliment. You're giving it back though, so um. that's all good, <laughs> Summary of the night. I think um, it's scary, extremely scary, that people are judging each other on the smell of their dirty clothes. That's insane, it's ridiculous. Would I do it again? No. The reason being, it's mental. I don't, I don't like the idea of it. Um, however, some people might find love tonight. If they do, good luck to them. But I am, I'm, I've had enough, I'm out. Thanks. <laughs>